Hey, it's Carrie here from the Female Entrepreneur Association and welcome to your weekly dose of inspiration to build a successful business. So today I want to talk all about confusion <laughs> because as an entrepreneur I feel like I am confused most of the time. There, I said it, I got it out there, that is the honest truth. I am not perfect and I have a brain that is just so confused most of the time, it leaves me feeling exhausted. And I really wanna talk about this because I feel like I've been having a lot of conversations with people lately and I think we're all suffering in silence a little bit. I think we're all feeling really overwhelmed and confused, but we're not really talking about it, we're not really expressing this. And as someone who has been building businesses for the past 10 years, I, I have never managed to avoid and remove the confusion. I've just learned ways of how to deal with the confusion and go through the confusion so it doesn't hold me back, which I wanna share in this video. But I can't tell you over the years of um, building a business, the number of times I have thought things like, oh my gosh, what platform should I be using? Should I be focusing on Facebook? Or what about Instagram? Oh my gosh, but Instagram's getting big now, so maybe I should be doing more on Instagram. Or what kind of freebie should I create? Should I do a workbook or should I create a video series? But I've never done a video series before, so how on earth would I do that? And oh, it's exciting, but then you start doing it, you start building the workbook, you start on Instagram, you start the video series, and all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, my head is going to explode, this doesn't make any sense, I feel so confused. You know, or maybe you've experienced it where it's a case of like, you see someone else's website, you see what someone else is doing, and you think, oh my gosh, this is brilliant, I need to be more like them, I need to be doing things more like them. And so you kind of start, and you get so excited, and then, I don't know, it all gets confusing. I just feel like sometimes we start things and we are so sure of ourselves, we're so excited, and then it slowly starts to unravel as we realize that, we don't have all the answers. In fact, pretty much most of the time we have hardly any answers because we've never done the thing we need to do. Um, and and it slowly unravels until we're left feeling kind of lost, in a haze, feeling maybe overwhelmed, feeling a bit freaked out and wondering, can we actually make this happen? <laughs> I have felt like that so many times over the past few years. Honestly, like, whew, it is crazy even thinking about it. But if you are sat there thinking, oh my gosh, yes, this is me, I feel confused all the time. I start something, I get excited, and then all of a sudden it's like, ooh, really confused, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> then just take a breath, and just know that you're not alone, because I am like that too. <laughs> so we can be both like that together, um, along with all the other entrepreneurs out there. Because that's the thing, even really, really successful entrepreneurs that are running, you know, seven, eight figure plus businesses, they still feel confused too. I you know, have conversations with people who all the time I always ask them, like, Are you, do you always just have it figured out? And they're like, no, they never have it figured out. And there's always elements of confusion because, like I said, we are all trying to push the boundaries, like self -worth. that's what entrepreneurs do, that's what we do. You know, that's what enables us to achieve amazing things, it's because we're the people that are willing to put ourselves out there in the unknown, where it's literally like, oh my gosh, how am I even supposed to do this? This is the most confusing thing in the world. And we persevere, we keep going, we push through the confusion, and that's where we have our breakthroughs and achieve amazing things. And I think the person who created and drew the picture that you are looking at right now got it so right. This is really what business is like. It's literally like confused mess all over the place. Um, and I think that just by acknowledging that, sometimes it can make you feel so much better. Seriously, when I have conversations with other people and we have little chats about our little confusions that we have at the time, it just makes me feel so much better. Like, oh, I'm not alone. <laughs> I'm not the strange, crazy entrepreneur that I often feel like I am. I am actually very normal because all these other people are feeling confused too, so it's not just me. So with that, with that all being said, um, you don't want confusion to hold you back and stop you. And I have definitely found in the past that there have been moments where I felt, or times where I felt so confused, I have let it hold me back um, and stop me. But over the years, I think I've found different ways to, to handle it so that I can make sure I keep going and keep moving forward. So I just wanted to share those things with you. There's three, three main things plus a little bonus tip. Um, um, that will hopefully help you whenever you feel confused. So the first thing um, that I realised about confusion is that it's all in my head. Like confusion is entirely in my head. It starts when I want to do something and 
um, or it, may, it could be like a really tiny part of business or it could be like the big picture of like, oh my gosh, this is confusing. What do I do? Do I use Facebook? Do I use Instagram? And that kind of thing. Or it could be that I'm doing something really specific and I get started and I'm excited about it. And then all of a sudden I'm just like, whoa, I'm really confused with which direction to take this in or what decisions I should be making about this. But I realised that everything that's going on is in my head. It's generally the questions that I keep asking myself, like, for example, a lot of um, people get confused over pricing and they have this conversation around and around and around in their head of, but should I charge this much? Um, or should I charge this much? But if I go for this much, will I be devaluing myself? And if I go for this much, will um, people not buy because it's too expensive? And am I worth it? Like, how, who am I to charge that much money? And then they go around and they, you know, I have to summon to me so many times. And you ask yourself a bazillion questions. Only the questions you're asking yourself just fuel the confusion and just make you feel like you're in a tangled web of these awful questions. So I realised that in order to be able to get through the confusion, to push through it, um, you have to take a step back and realise that it's entirely going on in your head. And so for me, the first thing that I do to help me to get through the confusion is I get a piece of paper and I write out what I am confused about. I literally sit down and I will write out the questions that keep cropping up, the questions that are making me feel stuck, the questions that are making me feel confused, like, is this the right price to charge, or should I create this type of workbook or that type of workbook? So, you know, the questions that are tripping you up that you can't seem to get past, I write it all out. Um, we have made like a cute little worksheet for you for this video. So if you want, download it, it's free, download it and use it to go along to help you like journal this stuff and write out what you're confused about whenever you need it. Um, and then once I've written everything out and got it all out of my head, that in itself can sometimes be enough to help me to just move past it. Because sometimes just taking that step back um, and getting everything out of your head and giving yourself the space to do that can be enough for you to be like, oh, okay, I see what's going on here and it's fine because I can get this person to help or this person to help. So sometimes it's enough. If not, my second tip is to have a conversation about it with yourself. So this sounds a bit crazy and maybe it is crazy and maybe it's just because I'm a crazy entrepreneur, but I'm thinking that you might be too. So you might enjoy this tip. Um, so just have a conversation with yourself. So one time I was in the car and I was feeling incredibly confused about everything that I was doing. Um, like about you know big picture stuff and so I literally in the car in the time journey I was by myself I might add and I just talked out loud to myself I, at first it felt very uncomfortable and I just started talking out loud just saying the things that I was confused about and just talking the stuff out with myself having I mean I was pretending I was talking to the universe but because <laughs> you know don't know why just helped and I just had this conversation I could just get it all out get it off my chest sometimes I feel like when you just get it out and let it just be, it enables you, your brain to start coming up with different ideas or realising actually what about doing it like this. And in fact, I always find whenever I do this and I have conversations out loud with myself, that my intuition will kick in and I will start hearing the answers coming back to my, coming back. And so I'll start seeing a, a, what I need to do and the steps I need to take to move forward. So I find that really, really helpful. And then the third thing that I do is I take time to reconnect with my goals and what my vision is. Um, because, you know, you set these goals and we have these visions and then when it comes to doing it, that's when it becomes become confusing and messy and maybe it's because you've, a load of different people have told you that you have to do things a different way or maybe it's because, I don't know, I don't know, whatever reason it is, that you, you know, maybe it's because you've never done it before, which is a completely valid reason for why you would feel confused out of your, out of your mind. Um, but then I think when you reconnect with your goals and your vision, again, you can just start to tune back into yourself and tune back into figuring out what the right step for you is and getting excited again about it. Because sometimes I've found in the past where confusion's taken over my life, I've started to feel a bit detached from my goals and my vision and started to feel a little bit hopeless about everything because I'm so consumed with the confusion, I've forgotten what my vision is. So I think it's always really good to reconnect with your goals and your vision and just get inspired by it again, get excited by it again, remember why you're doing it and allow that to follow that rather, allow that to lead you in the right direction, allow that to guide you through the confusion and just listen. Sometimes I think when you take a step back and you listen to yourself, you'll start to hear or get a sense of the right thing to do. Maybe it'll be a random thought that pops into your head. head. Maybe it will just be this email that all of a sudden pops up at the right moment that is just seems completely aligned and so helpful for you. You know, who knows, but 
I often find that when you tune in, that, that's when that stuff can come through that will help you to kind of move forward in the best way possible. And the bonus tip, or the fourth thing I was going to say, is that if you're feeling confused because you're looking at what other people are doing and then you think you should be more like them um, and then you just trip yourself up because you're doing one thing and then you look around and then all these people are doing amazing cool stuff and you think you need to be like all of them which I think happens to every single entrepreneur because because <laughs> it's hard not for, the, for that not to happen but if you are tripping yourself up and that's why you're getting confused because you're out there all the time looking around at everyone else and then thinking oh my gosh I should be like this I should be like this I should be like this and just confusing yourself then just give yourself a break allow yourself time to move back stop looking at what other people are doing stop getting confused and tripping yourself up by what other people are doing and just focus on reconnecting with you your goals yourself your vision and just follow your own heart follow your own intuition and do what feels right for you so whenever i feel confused those are the things that i always do to help get me back to the right place but one thing that i would say about confusion is that even though it feels uncomfortable to to be in that position where you feel confused I think it's a really good thing and I would be more concerned if you said to me you know what Carrie I never feel confused never I'd be more concerned because I'd be thinking well are you really doing enough to be able to like move things forward because in this you know no one has all the blooming answers ever no one knows how to do everything ever when I did a three-part video series earlier on this year I didn't know what I was doing I felt so confused most of the time and and that's the thing but you know what it was a good thing because that confusion was a sign that I was pushing myself to do something I hadn't done before and it resulted in a great success and that's how you learn and that's how you grow so I always think confusion is a great sign that you're moving somewhere you're on the move you're going somewhere you're heading forward so don't let it trick you and it, it will it will trick you but don't let it fool you into thinking that it means that you're not good enough or that you haven't got what it takes or that it's impossible because it really doesn't mean that it actually means that oh my gosh you're doing amazing you're in the right direction and I love the fact that you're so confused because it means that you're trying to do things you've never done and you're pushing yourself hard um or you're pushing yourself in a really good way and that's that's where you want to be that is where you want to be so I would absolutely love to hear from you on this so that I don't seem like the only person that's being like yes I'm confused all the time and I don't have all the answers <laughs> Um, so yeah, leave a comment, let me know if, if you're with me on this, if you're someone that often feels confused, um, you know, and sometimes feels like this, this is just one big like tangled mess, like that picture, and leave a comment and maybe share some of the tips and the things that help you whenever, to help you move past the confusion. Um, I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts and your experiences on this, because I think it's a really important topic and as entrepreneurs sometimes I feel like we build our businesses a lot by ourselves and we just need other people out there to just be like yes do you know what it's okay it's normal it's a good sign just keep on going and you can do it um so definitely get involved have your say um also if you're not a subscriber but you've enjoyed this video then make sure you sign up so you get next week's video and I will see you soon for another weekly dose of inspiration you so so much for taking the time to watch one of our videos I really really hope that you enjoyed it I've got something really exciting that I would love to send your way we have created the make it happen guided visualization for you to listen to every single day for the next 30 days to help you to condition yourself to make incredible things happen and along with that we have the make it happen workbook to help you to get really clear on your goals to get so much focus and clarity to make a plan of action so you know what you need to do and when you need to do it so if you would love us to send them your way then all you need to do is subscribe to the email list below and they will be on their way to you so definitely do that and come and join an incredible group of women who are so passionate and determined to achieve amazing things and build successful businesses and I will see you next week for another 10 minute masterclass